Okay, today we'll be talking about coordinate proofs. First, the definition of a coordinate proof is that it involves placing figures in a coordinate plane. Then using slope or distance formula, as well as postulates and theorems to prove that the statements about the figure are true. On this side, k equals 2, 5, l equals negative 2, 3, m equals 2, 1, and n equals 6, 3. So k equals 2, 5, l equals negative 2, 3, m equals 2, 1, and n equals 6, 3. And now we connect all the sides. And we're going to use the distance formula to find, um, to find all the lengths of the sides. Okay, so LM, that would be 4 squared, which would be 16, plus negative 2 squared, which would be 4. And then you add them together, and equals radical 20. Okay, nm would be 4 squared, which would be 16, plus 2 squared, which would be 4, and that would get radical 20. nk would be negative 4 squared, which would be 16, plus 2 squared, which would be, uh, and that would, e which would equal 4, and that would get you radical 20. And... For KL, it would be negative 4 squared, which would get you 16, plus negative 2 squared, which would get you 4, and that would be radical 20. So LM equals radical 20, NK equals radical 20. Nm equals radical 20, and Kl equals radical 20, and we use the distance formula to find all of those. Therefore, it's a rhombus. And the summary is um, slope, you can use that to uh, prove that it's perpendicular or parallel. And you can use distance to find the lengths of each side.